Well, somebody asked me how I got this 10 horsepower Tecumseh engine to fit onto this BCS two-wheel tractor. We'll just back up here a little bit so you can see the whole unit. And I have other attachments for it. It's got a blade on it right now. I've been looking for a snowblower attachment. I think I found one in Pennsylvania. And it's funny, I live in California, but I'm going to get it shipped. So, this is a Tecumseh engine. This is an Italian-made BCS two-wheel tractor transmission. The original engine was an Italian Acme engine. And this is the case off of the original Acme engine. What I did is I took that case off and this Tecumseh engine had kind of an extra long shaft coming out of it, which was longer than the original shaft. And so this, which is approximately three quarters of an inch, and that is a quarter inch plate of steel that I just cut with a cutting torch. You can kind of see it. So I drilled holes and tapped so that I could bolt this to there, to the steel plate and then I bolted this to the steel plate and that together made up the extra inch that I had on this old Tecumseh engine and it bolted then directly to the BCS transmission and these things are bulletproof this one is from approximately 1980 from the series numbers I got the entire tractor as a basket case for a hundred bucks and fits nicely works together real well there's a little dashboard I made with an hour counter push start and key ignition um, this is the original hood to cover the engine so I guess you can leave it outside I am I just retrofitted it on with these are old handles off a pressure washer that I cut and bolted to the bottom of the engine. Works beautifully and it's a great unit. Um, I think it's worth note, I spent about $140 on all the gaskets, seals, carburetor, um, all the pieces that I bought for the engine because it was a basket case too. I paid $25 for the engine and paid $100 for the tractor with the sickle kiter back there and the rotor tiller attachment. Not bad. And let's just start it up. Nice unit.